So we're going to be on wordart.com is where you want to go to do this. We've done this um, earlier this year. This time we're going to be using a stock image. So this is the one where you don't have to log in or anything. You're going to click create now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go get our shape. So you're going to go to shapes and we're going to search for a balloon. And it's going to be the first one on here. And all you have to do is click it so that it's blue. And now we're going to go back to words. So I'm going to get rid of these. Remember, they already have some in here. So all you have to do is select remove. And then you're going to put your words in. Um, I'm just going to put a couple words in. They will appear just like you put them in. And remember, you can change the color. So if you click here, you can change the color of your word. So I could make um, love red. Then I could go in and I could make family blue. And I can make happy. I'm going to make happy yellow. Then you can also change the font. So I could make the word love be... I, each word could be a different font. The other thing you can do is you can change the size. So I could make this a two, but you really don't know what it's going to look like until you he hit visualize. So when I hit visualize, it gives me my balloon and you can see the different fonts and the different colors. So you can mess with this until you have it the way you like it. She needs you to download it and then put it on Canvas. So to do that, once you're happy with the way your balloon looks, you are going to click download and you're going to select JPEG. And now it's downloading into my downloads. So if I open my downloads, I'm going to move it over here on the screen so you can see it. Um, you can see my word art is right here. So I can drag this to my desktop. I can right click here and I could rename it and put my name to it. And then I can drag it to my desktop and then upload it onto Canvas. Hope that helps.